Hey everybody, this is uh, Officer Dan Jackowitz with CHP Castro Valley and we are uh, out here on the 4th of July doing some enforcement. It's our maximum enforcement period for the California Highway Patrol. So we're going to be looking for speeders, drunk drivers, people not wearing their seat belts. We want uh, everyone to be safe and uh, you know get to their destination safely. Uh, so please uh, remember to slow down and, and drive to arrive. So right now we're going to stop this vehicle. The driver was not wearing his seatbelt and he was also on his phone. And apparently he doesn't know what to do. 118 units broadcast for a possible 23 walk as you chase on 580 north of the Laura Black. Sit tight in the car, I'll be right back with you, all right? So uh, we stopped this gentleman for using his phone and not wearing a seatbelt. And uh, right off the bat, he says, hey, can you give me a warning? Because uh, I just got two speeding tickets this month. So, um, you know, unfortunate, you know, he wasn't able to stop his behavior um, sooner because I think he's going to end up getting another ticket today for not wearing a seatbelt and for talking on the phone or using the phone. So. I go to school full time. I play college football. I can't afford this. I can't afford this. Like it's, it's, this is, this is. You guys are extorting people with these f tickets. This is three hundred and fifty dollars. My other one's four hundred dollars. I can't afford this. I work twenty hours a week, and then I play. I've got football practice every day. I I don't have any money. I don't have any money to give you. Just arrest me. Like I, I, I get that I'm ecstatic right now and you don't feel safe. You know I apologize for that. But I, I, I can't afford this. Well, I haven't used those words, those are your words. So I feel cool if you're good. We can we can have a conversation. We can talk. I'm happy to talk with you and explain this. You know, I, I, I can't speak to what happened before this, you know, the two tickets that you got. But all I'm here to do is deal with what we have right now, okay? In my job, you know, the 4th of July weekend, we're out here trying to make sure that people are safe, right? And God forbid you were to get hit by a drunk driver and not wearing your seatbelt. I know you just came out of that driveway, but, you know, this, this, is, this is a dicey situation, especially this weekend. But this is the choice I'm making today to issue a citation, you know. Um, you do have some, 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 some rights here in regards to, um, you know, what you can do, right? So there's a court proceeding. You know, this is not an admission of guilt when you sign the citation. No. It's just a promise to take care of the matter. The, 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 you never win well, show up, I bet nobody wins. Well, that's that that you win. That's the due process that you're that you're given. So so you're gonna you're gonna have your ability to, to talk about what your situation is. You know, I, I encourage you to take care of the matters rather than let them you know lapse or do anything like that. But you know, I don't mean you. I don't I don't feel unsafe right now. I understand you're upset. You know, I get that, man. Three tickets in the month, but at some point, I hope that maybe you would slow down and then two, you know, wear your seatbelt. You know, because those are two things that kill people. Can I, can I be real with you here? I've been an officer almost for 10 years, and in 10 years I've seen a lot of people killed for speeding and for not wearing their seatbelts. No joke. I, I get that. No joke. I literally just pulled out of the gas And it's not, it's, it's not personal. I, I, I've never met you before, right? I've never met you before. This is definitely not me, Officer Dan, taking something out on you. No, I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm trying to make sure you're safe. And enforcement um, is one one way that we can we can ensure and make sure people are safe. All right. So so can I get your signature right here in the box again? It's not an admission of guilt. All right. And just a promise to take care of it. You have 60 days through uh, East County Hall of Justice in Dublin. And I appreciate your cooperation. I really do. I understand. Again, you're upset, but you know. This, there's definitely more to this. Um, you, you can have your time in court to, to talk about your situation. 
um, and I would encourage you to do it. Do you have any questions for me? All right, well, I'm gonna back up and get out of here. Drive safe, okay? All right, you good? You sure you're okay? Okay, all right, take care, brother, all right? Motorcycle that was hit by an unknown vehicle. We have a 1039 to 1141. They're also putting in a few miles north of Camino Alta Mira. 14330, I copy, I'll be en route. I'm sorry, it looks like the rider is conscious but not moving. 30, I copy, y'all. 14330, copy, y'all. So, right now we just got a call of a vehicle accident, one of the injuries. Apparently a motorcycle got hit on Redwood Road and is down, conscious but not moving. So we're gonna respond to that.
yeah, this road, uh, you have to be careful, especially if you're motorcycling or just cycling. It's uh, curvaceous, got a lot of embankments, line turns, and uh, some people will want to take it really fast, go wrong way, and we see some, some head-on collisions up here. So, unless you're responding, even, even when you're responding, you have to use care. As you can see, there's a cyclist right here. You have to use care uh, and, and really pay attention to what's going on. Thank you, Thank you. down on the right side and uh, do you recall anything like did you hit your head I I literally just slid on the side so that yeah exactly where it did so I kind of landed on that so side, you, re the you right recall side. it hitting your head on that or um, like it was it was a really smooth motion and I just felt just heard it like scraping I just kind of like sliding on your yeah, right side why okay and then you, you remember stopping on this side of the road? Yeah. Okay. And do you have any medical conditions I should be worried of? Or anything like that? Yeah. No? No. Alright, so let me just read Okay, let me get back to what, what you told me. You're going north on Road Road here about between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Uh, you're approaching the curve, you, you observe a car traveling the opposite direction. Yeah. It wasn't in your side of the road, it was in its right side of the road. Right. For some reason you get scared, right? You get nervous or whatever. And yeah. you put the bike down on your right side. Right. And then you slide on your right side to the opposite, opposite side of the roadway and stay here on the shoulder. And, and you're just there until people come and talk to you pretty much, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. 